How's it going guys? Welcome to another week in our video blog series. I'm Dr. Nick Nineman with Nineman Chiropractic Clinic and what we're talking about this week uh, is, is a really interesting topic. Um, basically what it's about is uh, organ problems uh, otherwise known as visceral pain, uh, how, it, how it can mimic somatic pain or, or spine pain. So we're going to talk about how actual organ issues can, can mimic back pain. Um, it's something, you know, when us chiropractors go through school, this is something we're trained on extensively because uh, we have to know the whole body inside and out because, because again, uh, a patient can come in with what they think is a back problem, but it, it could really be an organ or, you know, a, a visceral issue. Um, you know, a prime example is, um, you know, a patient comes in, uh, it could be a urinary tract infection, you know, urinary tract infections can cause back pain, you know, especially if the urinary tract infection moves towards the kidneys, uh, that's going to mimic back pain. So, uh, you know, as a chiropractor, it's my job when that patient comes in to do a, a proper case history uh, and, and, you know, ask if they've had a history of UTIs, kidney infections, um, you know, ask them, you know, are they having, you know, problems with urination, burning on urination, uh, you know, all, all these things can help me identify if there's a possible, you know, uh, urinary tract uh, issue or, or a kidney uh, issue, uh, you know, so that's why I even have patients kind of kind of joke and complain that uh, my intake forms are too long, uh, but, you know, I ask for a full, you know, medical history because, again, we need to know this stuff as a, as a chiropractor. Uh, and, you know, another issue is like with men, uh, prostate issues can mimic back pain. Uh, if, you, if you have a prostate problem, um, I mean, that can lead to back pain, so I can have a I could have a 50-year-old male come in saying, oh, my back's hurt, I need adjusted, but it really could be his prostate, you know, that's causing the, the back pain. So, um, you know, again, you know, that's why I always emphasize when people come in, make sure you fill out the case history, tell me all the problems you've ha you have or have had, because uh, these are things we all need to know. Um, another great example, um, uh, pancreas. The pancreas, you know, sits right, right in this region right here, uh, but when... Uh, there's acute uh, pancreas inflammation that can cause sharp pains that radiate to the middle of the back, the thoracic spine. Um, so you know that th there again, that can be uh, a person could be having really bad sharp thoracic pain when it when it's really coming from the pancreas. Uh, you know, gallbladder, the gallbladder sits on the right side. Uh, you know, gallbladder pain can refer up to the shoulder. So you know, a patient could be having a, a deep boring pain in their shoulder or even their their shoulder blade, uh, and that could be coming from the gallbladder, because again, that pain just refers up that way. Um, so these are all organ issues, uh, again, that can mimic, uh, you know, spine pain, shoulder pain. Uh, so, you know, that's why as chiropractors we go through extensive education, because we, you know, not, all are, not only are we spine specialists, but we're specialists on the whole body. Uh, you know, we, we, we have to know how the body works uh, to be able to get that patient to the right place if they need it. Um, you know, one other thing, you know, I, I always ask, we, you know, as chiropractors, we don't obviously prescribe medicine, but I always ask for medications uh, on the intake forms. And a lot of times people just don't write down their prescriptions. They're thinking, why does this chiropractor need to know this? Well, a prime example is, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this, uh, statins, they're cholesterol lowering drugs. Uh, statins, one known side effect is that they cause muscle and joint pain. Um, I've had numerous patients uh, come in and they say, you know, over the last three weeks, you know, I'm having really bad muscle and joint pain. And I say, well, is anything different? They're like, well, I'm taking a cholesterol medicine now. I'm like, is it a statin? They're like, yeah. Um, you know, and then they, they go, you know, obviously I don't tell them to stop their medicine. That's, you know, I don't, that's for their medical doctor to, to deal with, with the medicine side. But they'll go to their medical doctor and the medical doctor takes them off of it. Uh, and what do you know, they come back, they're like, I'm feeling a lot better. So again, a patient, you know, might not even have an actual spinal problem. They could be just taking a cholesterol medicine, and it's causing their, and that's what's causing their muscle or joint pain. And it's just as simple as, you know, having the medical doctor take them off that medicine or put them on a different medicine, and a lot of times the muscle or joint pain goes away. So I hope this was all uh, helpful information. Um, it, it should educate you a little more on, uh, you know, what could be going on. You know, and don't and don't panic now. When you, you know, if you have lower back, if you're a man, you have lower back pain. Don't panic they can all have a prostate issue or if you're a fe you know uh, a female uh, you know and you think you have a UTI uh, you know again uh, you know those are rare exceptions you know that you don't see that very often but again it's just something
to be aware of uh, to know that those things can mimic back pain. So I uh, hope you liked the topic uh, today. Uh, join us again uh, next week for another uh, great video blog. Have a great weekend. Thanks.